in this video um, I will be getting you guys started with using V-Ray V-Ray has been like something I've always been looking forward to be inside Blender it was in Blender for a while back but it kind of um, was was not supported for a very long time and of recent it has been supported so that's awesome and in this video I will be kind of getting you through the process of setting up your V-Ray if you had downloaded the very first day that it was released I think it was probably two days ago um, you would probably have some issues where um, you have this error of no floating license so according to this forum and post and I have tested it it worked and I uninstalled it so hopefully I can reinstall it and it should work for me um, yeah so I'm gonna put a link to this so this is basically going um, going to inform you about like uh, the error if you experienced it um, according to this post it has been fixed so let's go ahead and proceed with installing and kind of getting started with it so first of all we'll go to the link so it says um, you can download the updated version if you if this is your very first time if you don't have a chaos account you want to go ahead and create it because I think the licensing is done through their server, so you do have to kind of set that up with your account. It's a free download. Um, so uh, what one thing they stated is that this is for Blender 4.2, but I'm, uh, currently I'm able to use it for Blender 4.3. Um, so that's interesting. It comes in like an add-on form. Um, let's go ahead, you download this. I already have my copy downloaded. So we have it here. So I want to right click and run as administ administrator. I'll go ahead and let it do its thing. It's a very fast install. Um, okay, so you get this menu. We want to click on accept. Um, you can click on advanced. So continue, local, continue. And yeah, let it install. So if you are using the newer versions of Blender, like Blender 4.3, Blender 4.4, um, you might be worried that you cannot use it. So like I mentioned, you could set it up to work for the newer versions of Blender. So the first first thing we're going to do, if we go to my roaming, where you kind of see your add-on setup. So it's going to install it in 4.2 if you just use the default file part, which is OK. So you just want to do that. Um, yeah, so it's installed the V-Ray add-in and I downloaded just a copy of the Blender 4.2 just for this instance so I can sign in with the 4.2. Um, at least I'm just kind of recreating the process I, I did to make it work. So we'll go to add-on in the 4.2 and search for V-Ray. Once we enable it, hopefully it works. Um, and we switch to V-Ray render we should get like a pop-up scene okay it just works off the back um, yeah so it might require you to sign in and if you've not signed in then you might get some license issue so you want to um, sign in by creating the account and making it work and yeah I was kind of expecting more challenge but it seems to be okay um, anyways so once we we've signed in and it, it works for 4.2 we can um, go to add-ons so I will go to the script add-on V-Ray for Blender and I will copy that and paste it in my 4.3 add-ons which is the version of Blender which I use I really love this because the previous version you had to use like a custom build of Blender uh, which kind of um, make me used to different blender versions but with this you can just work with one main scene um, so once you have this once we've copied the folder we can search v-ray for blender and yes yeah, so I have that installed so I'll go ahead and save that and now you can switch your render engine so importantly you want to sign in um, you should get a pop-up right now it's not um, kind of popping up if it's not popping up for you, one thing you could do is go to uh, expand this. So you want to stop the license server and start it again. I'm not going to <laughs> experiment that. I'll just leave it 
that's working because for some time it was not working for me um, but you want to stop it and start it again um, that could help so you stop and start um, another thing you could do is to uninstall and make sure you download the latest build so if you had it installed previously you want to uninstall every single thing um, so if we go to add and remove programs so you want to install uninstall everything not this of course um, you want to uninstall, uninstall that and come here and uninstall something V-Ray yep so you uninstall that and you should be good so let's give it a test render so we'll use the react light and I'll reduce the strength to one so you have access to like the viewport preview so if you don't want to see this light you can make this invisible so it's really awesome so we're back in business baby um, so we can go ahead and test uh, for the rendering I think it does the rendering mainly in v, the V-Ray frame buffer um, yeah so that's how you can use it yeah it's, it renders pretty fast um, I think you can set up the GPU so I'm setting it to to x and you can select your GPU device right here so I've kind of um, enabled my two GPUs so that should be sufficient and we'll try I'm not, I'm kind of um, free balling it so probably I'm doing certain things wrong but yeah I will be doing more research um, and hopefully putting lots of cool videos out I'm always, <laughs> honestly I'm quite excited about this it's been a long time waiting um, for Vray to come into Blender and since it's well integrated so if you want to try it out I'm gonna put a link to the forum with, that I mentioned so um, it, it will kind of direct you um, through like any problems people are asking the same questions if you're experiencing it uh, yeah so that's it um, have a w wonderful weekend bye bye for now see you next time